Damn, Nike and Supreme finally killed it on another collab. I just want to know, baby, if I hit your phone. Is you picking up, baby? Tell me what you want. Never get no fuss, baby. I was all alone. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your host of the most, Tomboy Double and Crossing Tomboy TV, TV, TV. And welcome back. Today we got a new sneaker, not sneaker, what am I saying, a new Supreme dropless review. However, this is not going to be the full entire dropless because this is for Supreme week 13, spring summer 2019. Week 13 already, boys. Damn, I feel like we were just like at week 7 or some shit. Like, this is, it's moving fast, so time is flying by. Especially for me because I'm finally about to be out of school, so you know, thankfully I'm out of here. But um, anyways, we're going to get into it. Today we're only going to be talking about the Supreme and Nike collaboration. If you guys don't know, I do retail and resell price estimations every single Wednesday uh, before the Supreme drop list because I know you guys want to get a good gauge at what you should go for. Now, par partial drop list is out more than just a Nike collab. However, whoa. There's a fire piece in here for sure. But I, I do just want to talk about the Nike clap. I was going to post this yesterday, but I had the vlog to post from the Verity and Girls Don't Cry Human Made collab in store. That shit was crazy, man. Like that line was three hours long, but the pieces came out sick. I met Nigo and Verity themselves. Check out the full video if you haven't, but also I do want to talk about my Discord. I currently do have a free Discord. If you guys don't know, all you got to do is send me a screenshot. You subscribe to my channel at hype underscore and J. But I know I haven't responded in like a few days. I've been trying to take a break from everything because spending so much time on the phone is not really that good. And I've been trying to take a break a bit because I haven't got my sleep schedule done right. I haven't I just need to get back on track, you know what I'm saying? So today, hopefully it'll be back up because I did sleep a little bit longer than I typically do. I do feel a little bit rejuvenated, uh, so I will be getting back to you guys. And then, of course, if you guys want to join the premium Discord, stay tuned for some limited restocks on the spot because we had about a few, we had like 100 spots open on the first day. We don't plan on opening that many again on a, on a single release, but we will gradually be extending it to more and more people because I know a lot of you want to join it. But I'm not trying to have a lot, a lot of crazy amount of people because it is only $10 a month. I want to keep it organized and make sure everyone's legit and everything because i don't want to you know risk anything but anyways that's a whole different story but today we are going to be talking about supreme and nike as i said first of all i do want to talk about the striped sweatpants now i am not a fan of this this looks like you're going to jail type shit like this it's cotton kind of blend striped sweatpants dropping in three different colorways all right guys so unfortunately on freaking damn fortunately my camera got out of focus for the rest of this video so i'm gonna go back in rerun this entire video the video came out so damn well i had so many good jokes in there and shit but you know we're gonna have to rerun it doesn't matter well no when i life hands you lemons you freaking make lemonade so first of all as i was saying i was talking about the nike sweatpants right here the striped sweatpants and, and i am not a fan of these at all three different colorways we have like natural brown looking colorway we got the green and blue and then we got the white and black as well the white pants though i hate the white pants i'm not a big fan of them at all because you know see so go to the bathroom take a little dookie right there and like shit's coming all over you man like it's not what you really want but other than that though i'm just playing man sometimes it happens sometimes it don't uh but yeah i'm not i don't like white pants at all green and blue is not that bad reminds me of like a lacoste type piece right here and then the white and the brown and natural is not that bad either probably the best colorway out of them all if i would have to say but once again this is not a for me and resale wise won't really be there but once again what i'm gonna say stay tuned for my retail estimations dropping wednesday because that's normally when i do them and estimated retail on these pants is about 148 dollars which is not that bad for so i mean give or less it is pretty bad and the only brand you do have there realistically is just an embroidered piece right here with the swoosh coming out of the oval which is weird because Normally, when Nike does do collaborations or even their own pieces like that, they normally stay within the lines. They don't try to break boundaries, but this time they did. They broke some boundaries, which is cool to see. And we got some premium embroidery right above the oval. But other than that, though, you you can definitely tell, though, that this is some different type of pants. Like, this is some normal shit you can find at h and I mean, maybe you could find it at h and I haven't been there in a minute, but without the Supreme branding, it could look like maybe you could just find some regular-ass pants. But that's also with almost every single brand slash label. If you just remove the label, it just looks like regular shit. Uh, but then we're going to another pair of pants which is the supreme and nike warm-up pants drop in three different colorways and i'm actually a big fan of this one right here it's water resistant nylon warm-up pants coming different come with a little bit more much more vintage style i should say and i'm actually i don't know if i talked about it yet but i'm gonna get into it a second about where this entire inspiration for this entire collab came from about three different colorways as i said we got the purple on white on black the green and white on black and the silver and white on black now my favorite color out of all these like uh, warm-up pants slash warm-up jackets is definitely the silver one although like i say we're gonna get into the bags later that's just the only accessory drop in this week is the branding can't be seen that well but these the only really nike branding you do have besides the swoosh on the top left of the pants is actually on the left side of the not right side right side of the pants in red font 
red font because it's supreme, I'm assuming. And then we do got the purple strip going up and down. I'm here for it though. I like it. It's finally like a different pair of pants because normally Supreme and Nike don't do pants like that. And they surprisingly did not do any tees or hoodies, even though it's summer. It's summer and they did not do any tees or hoodies, which I'm actually really, really surprised about because I would expect them to definitely do uh, tees and hoodies because it is summer. Once again, like, I don't know why they're doing all these big ass jackets. Like, the jacket looks super, super thick and, like, you're going to keep you mad cozy, but you don't need to really be that cozy out here in the summer when it's mad hot, especially where I'm. I'm in Jersey. You guys don't know I'm based in Jersey and it's starting to get really hot out here. This heat wave is coming crazy. But as I said, warm up pants are a cop for me and estimated retail is $168, which is kind of pricey for some pants, but that's the price you got to pay with Supreme just raising their retail. Uh, then we go on to the Supreme Stripe Nike Hooded Sweatshirt. I don't know why I said it separately like that. But anyways, this is a cotton blend stripe hooded sweatshirt dropping the same three different colorways as the pants. Uh, the first color is the brown and beige, the natural, and of course the hoodie. The hoodie is the color of the dark colorway. So for the blue and green one, the hoodie is blue. For the white and black, the hoodie is black. The hoodie, I'm, I just know I'm going to get shit way too dirty in the white colorway, so I'm not going to be going for it. You should keep that in mind as well if you are trying to go for the personal, because these pieces will have resale, but nothing insane, because typically stock is not the smallest on Nike collabs, uh, and it's not the biggest either, though, it's just right in the middle. But this entire collab does remind me of the CDG collaboration that did happen with the split box logos. I'll get into that a little bit later, uh, but this one dropped in three different colors, as I said. Our estimated retail on this is approximately $158, which is not terrible either. Cotton blend, once again, cotton is the best material you could probably get, and it is embroidered, so you know it's not cheaply made. I mean, it is probably cheaply made somewhere, but the fact that it's embroidered does add a little bit more of better value to it, and that's actually my alarm to go sign up for Supreme real quick, so stay tuned for that. Maybe we'll get in, knock on some wood. Maybe I'll catch you guys there if you guys are going. We'll see. I don't like to speak much about it because i've been getting a lot of bad luck but next up we do go on to another well, the only jacket dropping this week which is the suprema nike hooded jacket i'll drop it in three different colorways now this is where the inspiration came from for this entire almost entire collab all uh, three different colorways as i said we got the purple the green and the silver now i love the back the back of this jacket is looking really really good we got supreme embroidered on the top the black oval with nike check the nike check looks a little bit weird but it's just how we be looking on the back. It kind of has like a bootleg version, which we're going to get into real quick. The Nike and red on the back as well. My favorite, as I said, is the silver, which you can't see the Supreme bearing that well. But if you think about it, like for me personally, I like to wear stuff that matches slight, like matches a good amount in the entire fit. And if I get silver, it matches with a lot of good stuff. If I get green, it doesn't match with a lot of shoes that I have. Or, I mean, it would match with these pants right here, which I'm also hyped about, like new pants coming from Supreme and Nike, which is looking good uh, because no may love rocking the camo pants and finally be able to, I mean, I love track pants too. I have like a few Nike track pants, but the cargo pants are my favorite out of all of them. But continuing on, I went off on a tangent that other colorways purple doesn't really match with much besides core pros and we have look this this is like the core purple pine green and some the jordan one color car leonard fits right here this is the three shoes you can match with them perfectly which we will expect to see this on instagram very soon after the drop especially with all three colorways dropping and then we go on to the one and only six oh hold up hold up before i do get to the next pieces i do want to talk about where this entire collaboration came from not whole collection but the track jacket for sure and the track pants came from a bootleg piece now when i read that i was like mad surprised shout out to supreme copies on instagram that's how i found out this is uh, they actually found the green jacket from when the actual bootleg was looked was made and you guys can see right here how it be looking and i was just very surprised that actually nike did decide to like condone a bootleg almost with supreme and actually come through with it because you guys can see the back branding is almost identical it's almost entirely the same it does have the same font same graphic uh it just doesn't have supreme instead of sportswear it has a uh, supreme written on it the check looks official more official on the fufu one than on the real one and then the only thing difference you do have on the sleeves it looks identical except the stripes are a little bit more straighter but of course material is much different they did add a hood to it they did add some quilted uh designs on the inside which made it much more expensive compared to the bootleg one but if you do have the bootleg one that's definitely cool and for sure i feel like it does add some more value to the actual piece even though if you do have it it definitely is still worth a lot because like bootleg stuff like this it's worth a good amount if you guys don't know i love going to thrift i was actually there yesterday found some good pieces actually piece not a lot of pieces, but, you know, it was dope to see. And this one is estimated to retail. The real one is estimated to retail for approximately, believe it or not, $268. Now, that's what you just got to expect with the heightened retail prices from Supreme. That's what you got to expect for all the collabs coming as well. And now, the final, the one and only accessory dropping this week is a shoulder bag dropping the same three colorways as the jackets, which is the green, the silver, and the purple. And once again, you can't see the Supreme running that well on the silver one. But, you know, that's just what you got to get for more, more of a subtle piece, man. Now, now, this bag looks absolutely terrible quality. 
I'm just gonna say right off the strap looks this does look very vintage It does look like it's thin material estimated retail on this is $98 Which I don't see why it should be because this does not look like to be the best quality But once again, you can't really judge much by a picture It's better to judge off what you can get in hand, which hopefully we'll see what happens Uh the strap though what I gotta say right off the bat looks mad thin and mad terrible No branding on the strap would have been cool if they did like Nike uh, checks and stripes not nah, stripes whoa, 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 that's Adidas. You gotta relax right there Nike checks all around the swoop, like red checks to match the entire design of the bag as well as the jacket. But if you do get the bag and the full jacket and the pants, that shit's lit, man. Hopefully that happens to somebody out there who's trying to cop the full thing. But water resistant nylon is what this entire bag is made out of. Three different colors, as I said. Most hyped, I expect to be like purple and green. Silver will be in the middle. But more on the resale market will be coming tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And now the last piece we do have is this crew neck, this swoosh sweater, which is... A, the exact definition is acrylic jacquard swoosh sweater now instantly as i saw this i saw this in the morning on monday i apologize the video is a little bit late as i said but on monday this was the first image i saw the dude rocking the natural one with the red swoosh on i was like yo this is going to go for the most money out of anything in the entire collection because this is simple not too hype beastie even though i don't like that word but it's like it's anyone can really rock it old man can rock it a new kid can rock it anyone Almost anyone can really rock it, but there's also three different colorways, a white on black, red on natural, and a white on purple, and this is it. This is the item to go for. I'll talk about more on resale prices once I get confirmed retails tomorrow. Uh, estimated retail right now, though, is $138, and I'm just ecstatic on this one. I expect this to fly because supply, typically, on a lot of these crewnecks and sweaters, like this is a high-end sweater, well, it looks to be... And typically, uh, supply on this is very, very limited. Like, look at this CDG sweater. I know it had more branding. I know it was a higher retail. It, it was a higher retail for sure. And I know it was a little bit more hype because it is CDG and Supreme. It does have Supreme branding on the front. But this just has Nike. I wish they, they had, like, a little Supreme embroidery on the back. I like how they did simple, just a check on the front, and that's it. I like that. Maybe on the back, they did a little bit of embroidery action of, like, Supreme going. And, like, or if they did, like, the actual graphic that's on the uh, pants and the jacket, like, in the oval, swoosh, Nike Supreme, embroidered on the top, put it right on the chest not on the chest but right on the upper back I'm going off on a tangent on how they should design it but anyways this is an item i am looking forward to a lot and then this one then the sport jacket and then this uh, warm-up pants and then the bags and then the hooded sweatshirt the stripe one and then the stripe pants and that's it honestly that's it for the entire night club i should say but i do want to talk about these fit picks that were done by these mo models i should say i don't really know who they are i've never seen them in pictures before by supreme i'm assuming he is a worker for supreme because that's who, typically who they have modeled their stuff but the guy is flexing a pair of Nike Air Max 720s, which I'm sure were thrown to him very generously from Nike. Uh, but he is rocking the full fit of the checkers, the stripe shit right here with the pit bull that looks mad stone to the bone. Does not even know what is going on trying to pose mad hard, but in, in reality, it's tripping balls on the mind. Oh, this guy's flexing. I don't like it at all. I hate it. I don't really like the full thing. The full stripe reminds me of like an old prison jumpsuit. Then we go on to him rocking the jacket on his dirt bike, which is a Supreme on that back. That graphic looks so nice. It looks to be pretty big as well. Uh, you know, Supreme did the Yankee stuff, the big stuff on the back as well in the curve font. Kind of hard to compare it to, but yes, it's kind of similar to it. Branding is a little bit smaller. I just, I'm honestly a big fan of this. And then, of course, we have him rocking the sweater as well in the red cream color. It looks like it's cream. It could be straight up white, white. I hope it's not. Uh, but it does look like the Nike swoosh does look like, if you guys know what China Market does, when they do the swoosh with the actual, like, machine, it goes, like, prints on anything. Kind of looks like pixelated. That's what it is. It looks like a pixelated swoosh. So I think that's where they came from. Then the man's rocking the stripe shit once again. But honestly, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys are looking forward to. Of course, retail resale on the full drop list will be coming tomorrow. Hopefully, this camera, this whole video was in focus now because the last one, I was just looking at it. I was like mad pissed. Almost 80% of the entire video was out of focus. So I already filmed it all for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it so much. And good luck. Good blessing. Stay tuned to my Instagram on the Fit Picks coming today. Actually, I'm taking some more pictures. Thank you guys so much. Peace.